I do not think that we deserve reparations for slavery. I was never a slave in this country. And I think that the idea, if, if, you, if you think that you're going to get more than $200 from the government, okay, this entire debate is just, it's a, it's, it's a joke, okay? So the woman checking out, Candice Owen debunks pathetic reparation myths. Guys, if you're new here, then you should like, share, subscribe to my channel. Guys, let's get straight into this. Well, first of all, I would like to say there are some points in which y'all that I do agree with. The whole toxic masculine, the Me Too movement, I agree with you on that. But um, you said that uh, in a 2018 tweet that um, America shouldn't give black people reparations. Should or shouldn't? Shouldn't. No. I okay. Know. Well, mm. I actually didn't. I retweeted someone else. I think you're talking about DC Drano. No, you didn't say it. No, you oh. said your stance on um, Twitter. You said on Twitter that you're. Uh, you're talking to so me, right? Yeah. Okay. You said your sure. solution for yeah. it is that America just, should just move forward. Yeah. But the UN actually said that the um. The We're not the United Nations. I'm, I'm just saying that they said that the U.S. owes us reparations, but and the, and you, you said that. When that did I say the U.S. owes us reparations? No, I'm saying that they said that. You the never UN. said that. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, I wasn't following. So the United Nations said in 2018... No, 2016. 2016, that America owes us reparations. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And my question is... And you said that, raci that uh, racism doesn't exist anymore. When did you... I, ne I never said that. that. You, oh, read a, you read an article. No. Nope, I said I was never a slave. And then The Root okay. ha jumped into the front of the, what I said and said, Candace says racism doesn't exist because <laughs> she was never a slave. That was fake oh. news. Racism does exist. Well, America is not a racist I hate country. The too, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, like, why don't you think we deserve reparations? I mean, you did get a check for a racist act back when you were in high school. Um, for okay, so first off, these are two different points. I do not think that we deserve reparations for slavery. I was never a slave in this country, and I think that the idea, if, if you if you think that you're gonna get more than two hundred dollars from the government, okay, this entire debate is just it's a it's it's a joke, okay? It's never gonna happen. Do you think that we're the only group, I'm just gonna ask you this question, that has had something awful happen to them in this country? Do the Japanese get reparations for the internment camps? Yes, to the do. Irish, okay, all the Irish. Who's Irish in this room? Raise oh. your hand. Should they get? Oh, that's a lot of Irish people. Should they get reparations for the Irish need not apply during the Progressive Era and all the terrible things that happened to them? Should, what about the Jewish people? Should they get reparations for the for, for the Holocaust? Well, they did get reparations in Germany. No, they didn't. That's no, that, they that didn't. is a that is a myth, and that not is false. In America. They did not get any. They didn't huh? get any reparations in America. So oh. should. So, I talking, okay, I but here's my question. Do you understand how slippery of a slope is when you start saying reparations? It's the beginning of humanity. The slave trade used to be legal. It used to be legal. And do you want to know who got reparations? This is actually fascinating. I learned this from Larry Elder yesterday. In the UK, they decided to give reparations uh, because of the slave trade um, when they abolished it. Do you know who they gave reparations to? The slave owners. Because black people were their property legally. It was legal, right? So when they got rid of it, they gave them reparations. The point is, is that no matter where you go in history, someone was oppressed. You cannot look to correct history by thinking that you're gonna get a small check because every single person in this room would get a check. It's just a means for them to seize you emotionally and make you think that you deserve something and you're gonna get something. And if they actually factually did it, it would probably amount to $400 and you couldn't even spend it at a, at a club on a weekend. Just telling you. That's what Elizabeth Warren wants to talk about. Whoa. Guys, I honestly believe that, like, black, I really don't see the desire for reparation because I don't think we do. Because I honestly believe that a lot of slaves were there. Like, they are, see, a slave was a norm. And I honestly believe that black were not the only slave. Like, they were different kinds of colors. Even if we say they're black and white, but like, black, white, brown. Like, see, there are a lot of people who were taken as slaves. But like, let's see. Black, I feel what happened to Africa is more like they did not just take slaves, they took slaves, took resources and stuff like that. So that's why it's more painful. Like they came, destroyed kingdoms and stuff, but let's not go into that. But like, let's talk about slaves. Like, slave was a norm and everyone in the world was slaves. And mm, they came here to buy slaves. And they, they more like, they, they honestly felt that black people were stronger. And, like it can do more work and so like it's it's painful if you think about it like if i might decided to do a documentary about slavery so more like when i had what happened i really don't like talking about this topic seriously like it makes me emotional in some way because for you to think about the disgusting thing that happened you just bro your heart broken like it's 
it's disgusting. Like, don't go to African country and ask them about this or take a talk about this. Like, you feel anger in some way and stuff like that. But it's happened, and I honestly believe we should move forward. Like, it happened, we are done with it. Let's move forward. And that is what Charlie Skirk is trying to advocate because we're not going to go back to slaves again. And, bro, we are free. A lot of life, a lot of people were killed for this freedom. Now we have to seize it and enjoy it, not us trying to go back to the past. Like, that was what our forefathers did to bring us here. And now we are happy we are free. So let's look at the future. But guys, tell me what you think about this. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Best.